Hey Rifters, welcome back. Hopefully all of you guys and gals had a very good holiday. I sure did. But anyway, now it's time to get back to rifting. The first game we're going to check out of the year is called Nighttime Terror. Now, this game is actually a very unique game. It's a top-down game where you control a little guy and you got to kill stuff. I have played it for a couple minutes just to make sure I knew what I was doing. It does use the controller, which I will be using a PS3 controller. There are some high scoreboards, which you can see over here that you can place on if you get high scores. You can turn the music on and off. I actually disabled it just in case it's copyrighted music. You can put in your custom name. There is three different levels to choose from. We are going to go ahead and go to the first level here. Now there are some power-ups as you can see. We've got some restore health. Now you start out, you're actually sitting in a chair which is really cool because it gives you that nice sense of presence. It actually feels like I'm sitting at this desk. So you got this little guy you can control around with your left joystick and your right joystick aims and fires. So you got to take these little nighttime terrors out. Now you can pretty much walk everywhere. It's really cool. You can climb up here. You can jump off. You can actually climb down there. Oh shit. Now you really want to keep up with killing these guys or else they'll pile up on you and you'll end up getting killed. Now I did disable the music, but the music is actually really nice. It does add to the atmosphere of the game. There we go. We got some little lizard guys. Now they will shoot their tongue out. Now I think that's a health ring. We're gonna run over there. Jump off of that. What's really cool? Oh shit, no, it's a faster weapon. That is really cool. Take that. Anyway, what I was saying, what's really cool is since this is the DK2, you can actually lean around stuff. So if you get behind something you can't see, you can actually lean around it to see. Very cool. I have to say this game looks really good and it runs really smoothly. Oh, crap. The aiming is uh, a bit weird, I mean, because where you move the joystick, it automatically shoots. I'm not... Oh, crap, I died. Wow. Let's go ahead and go to the main menu. I guess I need to not talk. Something I didn't mention, when you're in the main menu, you feel really short, which is kind of cool. You have this big robot, and it kind of just goes on forever. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into another level. Let's see... Creepy Christmas. Let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, wow. Where's my guy at? Oh. Now, I haven't played this level yet. Wow. I'm like right up in the action. This is really cool. Since it is like a top-down view, you can't really aim at them if you're above them. Can I go over to the fireplace? Nope, can't get up there. Crap. So the levels themselves actually look really good. It kind of feels like I'm a little kid, you know, just sitting on the ground playing with my little remote control toy to take out these things. Got two little, two little lizard guys sneaking up over there, and here's some health. I believe the green is. This is so cool. This is a very good use of the positional tracking. Ooh, damn tongue is long. Yeah, I get stuck behind that star. Question is, can I? Let's see where I can go. Let's run up here. Ooh. Let's get that faster weapon. Run, run! Yeah, take that! Fully automatic rifle here. So the guy actually looks pretty damn cool. Let's see if I can... Oh, positional tracking messed up. See if I can take a little look at him. Maybe if he gets a little higher first. Go up on the table face this way 
So he is holding a little Tommy gun, which is really cool. I didn't notice that before. Very neat. What does that say? For Santa. Got some cookies and milk. Very cool. Now, you can actually rotate all the way around, but since I'm doing a video, I don't want y'all staring at the back of my head. Oh, God. I'm getting bombarded. Oh, crap. I fell off. Run! <laughs> like I said, it's a really good use of positional dragging. I'm actually really impressed with this game. Where'd my guy go? Shit. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, it died. So definitely not going to be getting any high scores. And I don't want this video to be too terribly long, guys. So this was Nighttime Terror. It's actually a really good game. Like I said, I'm really impressed with this one. Really good use of positional tracking. The game itself looks amazing. It runs really smoothly, especially since this is just a preview. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that. The music fits in really well with it. You does have high scores, like I said. There's nice little power-ups. You got three different levels to go through. So all in all, this is a very great game. If you have a DK2, I definitely recommend checking this one out. But anyway, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos, please like and subscribe. Also, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter if you have not done that already. You can hit me up on the Steam group that I created. All those links will be below, and thanks for watching.